class, welcome back. I'm Dr. April Strom, and in this particular video, we are going to explore related rates. And the scenario we have here is what I'm calling the circle problem. So imagine that the radius of a circle is increasing by five centimeters per minute. How fast is the area of that circle increasing when our radius is 20 centimeters? Let's go to Desmos and explore a little animation about this circle. Okay, what we see here is a circle where we can think about the radius increasing and explore how fast the uh, area of this circle is also increasing. So imagine my just dragging this point over here on this circle so that the radius is increasing and we can see quickly here how fast this area of this circle is also increasing. So this is what we're going to actually find out in our problem where we're going to use related rates to help us literally calculate how fast that area is increasing when this radius increases. So again, starting back at a smaller circle, as that radius is increasing, so does that area. We want to know how fast this happens. Okay, so if we have this circle, let's say that looks like this with our radius that we just saw in the animation, let's label that radius as R, we need to actually derive some notation to help us kind of sync up what is the rates that we are relating together. So in this particular problem, we need to figure out what the meaning of the five centimeters per minute represents and later what the 20 centimeters um, represents and how that gets folded into the, to the problem here. So let's look at our given. I'm gonna actually write out here what our given is. We're given the five centimeters per minute and we're, we're told that it in fact is the radius that is increasing at this rate. Check out the unit here, centimeters per minute is our clue that this in fact is a rate. So if this is a rate, we can't say that R, the radius, equals five, but in fact, the change in R relative to time is going to be that particular rate. So we can denote that as dr dt, the change in a radius relative to time or with respect to time. And that will be equal to our five centimeters per minute. Okay. What our goal though is to find is how fast the area is changing, is increasing when my radius hits exactly 20 centimeters. So our goal in this problem is to figure out how fast the area is changing. So notationally, we would describe that as dA dt, which tells us how fast the area, if we call area capital A, how fast the area is changing with respect to some amount of time that we're gonna measure in terms of minutes. And so we don't know what this is, we're gonna find it, but we want to know what the area, rate of the increase in area respect to time is going to be it precisely when the radius hits 20 centimeters. So we're gonna say when R equals 20 centimeters. So this is our task, we know that the radius is changing at this rate. We want to know what the area is changing um, and how fast that's changing, but precisely when the radius is in fact 20 centimeters. Okay, well, what do we know about area of circles? We have a formula that helps us connect together um, area and radius. So we know area of all circles goes back to the formula pi r squared. So a equals pi r squared. What we're gonna do here is use our implicit differentiation skills to be able to find the derivative of this equation here. And when I do the derivative, I wanna maintain my notation of things like dr dt and dA dt. So I'm gonna take this equation and I'm gonna find the derivative of this on both sides of the equation. So for the side that has a, derivative of a, but with respect to time. So notationally, when I take the derivative here, I end up with dA dt. That is my derivative of a with respect to t. So dA dt is equal to, now let's take the derivative on the right-hand side. 
Well, over here, pi is a constant, r is not, that is changing, that is a variable that's changing, and it has a power of two. So I can use my power rule that just says, bring that two down in front. And so when I do, I end up with two pi r, but I was taking the derivative of r with respect to time. So I need my notation, just like we saw an implicit differentiation here of dr dt. This tells the world that we took the derivative of an r, but with respect to t, that's where this notation comes from. Back over here, the derivative of a was just one, but I needed to tell the world that I was taking the derivative of a, but with respect to time. So both of these pieces of notation are needed. So once I find my derivative equation, I now have an equation that relates rates together. This is a rate here, dA dt. Over here, dr dt is another rate. Now I have an equation that relates those two rates together. It also includes an r, which I um, can use and plug in a little bit later. Okay, so I was trying to figure out how fast the area is changing. Well, this notation reveals that for us, dA dt. Now we're at the point of plugging in the things that we were given in the problem, like five centimeters per minute as the dr dt, and also the r being 20 centimeters. So we can finish calculating dA dt is equal to two pi, since those are just constants, times the 20, we can go ahead and plug that 20 in right here for r, and then that would get multiplied by the rate dr dt, how fast that radius is in fact changing, which we know that quantity to be exactly five. Okay, we finish this off. We can just say that dA dt is equal to, if I do all the multiplication here, um, and leaving pi as pi for an exact answer, we end up with 200 pi. And let's put a unit here, 200 pi what? Well, the area here, um, we gotta imagine, is gonna be our centimeters squared, but per minute that's elapsing. So over here, we would have centimeters squared per minute. The square, because centimeters squared, reveals to us an area quantity. And since it's a rate, we have per minute. So now we know, based on this work here of using implicit differentiation on my area formula and the givens given in the problem, we can now arrive at this understanding that if my radius is changing, increasing at five centimeters per minute, when the radius is 20 centimeters, I have the area is increasing at 200 pi centimeters squared per minute. Pretty exciting. All right, I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you for joining us. Please click on the Advantage logo to subscribe to our channel. Thanks.